hey guys um i'm gonna start with one shot i don't know whether i should fill this whole small wine glass does this count as a shot cheers before we even put on the wig because i need it a lot is going on in my life so i need it mm. oh so good this wine it's so good <sighs> it's the mikado cherry i made some juice here so i have wine and then i made some juice i didn't want to drink water this juice has cucumbers and oranges i blended them and then squeezed the juice because i don't have a juicer so yeah and now we have some nice green juice i'm gonna be having them together with the wine i don't have hard liquor so maybe i'm cheating on the challenge because i don't have any hard liquor anyway we'll see how drunk i will be by the end of this i made sure that i had removed the wine from the fridge like three hours ago so that it can fully like be room temperature instead of cold because apparently i had if the alcohol any type of alcohol if it's room temperature you're gonna get drunk quicker than if it's cold because your body has to warm up to it but if it's room temperature you'll get there quicker i don't know if that's true but that's what i had um this is the wig that i'm gonna wear i made it using bundles from yes hair i'm gonna tag them in the description box they're on amazon their bundles are good amazing quality i used three bundles for these was it three yeah and a clo no this is a frontal and a frontal and it's glueless the bundle they are uh, the bundles are 12a human hair they are so good they don't shed they barely shed anybody who has bought a wig from me that has um these bundles the wig this type of bundles they barely shed they are so good like at all at all at all and they don't tangle you just need to moisturize actually they're so good so we're gonna put it on i've taken a shot should they take a sh another one? <laughs> oh my god i feel like i'm cheating because it's wine or maybe i should send um get like nini delivered actually but i don't want to get that drunk either cheers i can really kind of feel the first one cheers guys luckily since the wig is blueless like installing it will be so quick i just need to apply makeup on it and then put it on that's it i had already pre-curled oh i'll go in with these ruby kisses like cream foundation and i'll just apply on the lace that's the only thing i'm doing and then we will cut it look at that hair it looks so good and the lace is hd you guys will see let me apply the foundation and then i'll be back make sure when you're cutting the lace you cut like kind of in a zigzag motion okay since that is done i'm just gonna pop it on push the wig cap back a bit this is the perfect wear on the go wig because and it's a frontal of course you can glue it down if you want if you have the time but at this moment, I don't. Mm, 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 mm. Don't say me. I don't wanna be a say. Nah, uh, uh. I don't know why that song is so stuck in my head. Oh my god, for another shot. Let me have some of this. I wish YouTube allowed like music, but you can't. You're gonna get copyrighted. Okay. Mm. you're gonna brush out the curls i just want to use a hot comb for a sec i don't know if it has gotten hot enough i said i need a new hot comb Ooh, ciao. okay i'm gonna leave it like that because the only thing that is gonna save that is a well good hot enough hot comb which i don't have so we'll just let it stay like that i'll add a bit of makeup okay maybe i need a lighter shade let me see on this party let me figure that out 
better i don't know i'm just gonna leave it like that at the moment because we're not going anywhere anyways i'm gonna moisturize the hair this is 22 inches see i wish like this part would actually like lay this flat but my hot comb is not strong enough or rather it doesn't get hot enough oh my gosh look at this hair guys you can just tell the quality from the video can you i hope you can look at that i love it if you have a wedding this is the hair for you honestly oh tell me i don't look good wow mm -hmm. okay guys let's start our makeup but then if you have noticed a change in the lighting i'm using natural lighting and it has just gotten gloomy all of a sudden out of nowhere and it's currently 4 19 pm so i don't know what's going on but i hope you can still see me i feel like you can still see me cheers first step has to be foundation so oops i guess i wanted to mix this foundation in this foundation but i have pumped too much i guess we're just gonna go with that let me get the questions and then we can start so i screenshotted them and sent them to this phone i hope we will get to at least half of them with my yappy yappy mouth <laughs> so the first one was i'm just a girl depressed at home with no job with a very abusive mom kwanza verbally i need a job man oh my gosh first of all i'm so sorry i can't imagine like literally being in your position parents who are like abusive honestly they really something they make me wonder something does not connect in my brain how you can be abusive to your own child especially like verbally and they're an adult oh my gosh i'm so sorry i believe any parent who is like that i feel like they should not have been a parent to begin with anyway it's not about them this is about you i would say oh my god that's so tough especially because you don't have a job i'm so sorry Aki, that situation sounds like it's so difficult so i would start by probably if i was the one in that situation which again i would not want anybody to be in that situation i would probably look for something that i like to do maybe like a hobby or like a talent that i can turn into something that i can get financial gain out of it let's say for example if you like makeup i don't know maybe if you like drawing doing hair something you can learn and you're passionate about that can help you get out of that that won't require like so much another thing would be obviously like to look for a job but i know how difficult it is to get a job in kenya especially at this current economy like situation that's why i feel like the best somebody can do is create something themselves as maybe you're still looking for another job maybe even if it's cooking and like talk to your friends and like although sometimes you can't depend on your friends to support your nini to be honest like but even if it's doing chapati like literally just anything any type of job that you can get at this moment usibagwe that will just help you be able to move out of that um toxic situation because i feel like a lot of parents or rather some parents that are toxic they like to take advantage of you especially and abuse you especially when they see like you're depending on them you have nothing like that can sustain you they take that as now the points like your weakness to really like abuse you because they know like you're not gonna do anything about it they bring you down because you depend on them so first thing i would really say try your best look for a job if you're not like how you work out with that 
really go on the internet search and see like what is a skill that you can really manage to learn and get and like start monetizing that you don't even have to be perfect on it like and believe in yourself and just do it but i'm really sorry in that situation because <laughs> i know i Kwanza, I don't know if it's just African parents, um, it's just Africa, like parents in general. Like, I don't know why they do that. A lot of them, not all of them. I know some people have like amazing parents, but like Kwanza, you not being financially like stable, they can really be using that as the point where they really get you and like abuse you in all types of ways because they know you won't go anywhere. We're just going to sit there and take it. And one thing about people who are abusive, trust you me, they are getting a high out of that, out of seeing you miserable. It's like very sadistic, especially if you're a parent and you're doing that to your child. You're very sadistic. You are a sadistic person and they're enjoying. So even if you're going to have to leave the house and like maybe go hang out with your friends but i know maybe it might also cause depression or maybe who is it i don't know just like i'm sending you so much strength and i trust you knew that you're gonna be able to figure out go on google youtube such a skill that you can last for, learn fast and monetize knitting ham i don't know crocheting cooking um drawing like makeup like there's a lot those are the ones that i can get off head but like there's a lot or like maybe just get another any other job even if come out a little it can like go boutique or something i'm not saying succumb yourself in a toxic environment but right now like for you to get in, out of that situation with a mother a mother of, <clears throat> anyway i'm so sorry just know empower yourself and i trust you can be able to do it empower yourself to get out of that situation because i promise you the parent who is doing that to you they are getting some sort of sadistic benefit from being abusive to you because i don't think you should do that to your kid even if you just want to talk to them you can talk to them in a way that you don't have to abuse them that's that i've talked about that for five minutes i don't know let's take the next shot i don't know how long this video is gonna be ciao but my heart is out to you and just know you can do it like literally take this moment and turn it let it fuel you the anger you're feeling the frustration you're feel, feeling let it fuel you to like completely change your life and i'm sending you positive energy another shot cheers to the next step i'm really hoping you guys can see me because the lighting is really getting fucked up Shit. And I don't want to shift to the other room where there's lights. I have lights because I have already started the video here. Oh my god. Let's continue to the next step. Let me apply some concealer. From this concealer that the applicator has broken. I love this concealer by Maybelline. It's so good. I can't wait for the day. Anyway, I'm putting it out to the universe. If you're watching my videos and you work for Maybelline, hit your girl up. Hit your girl up. I've used Maybelline products for so long. Guy, since 2018. Okay, I think I need a light. Even if it's a small light. I feel like the lighting is not enough. It has made at least a bit of difference. But let's keep going. And my bestie was like, talk about friendships. She actually commented twice. And let me tell you, when it comes to that, I have no freaking advice opinion like i'm also just like literally bamboozled shocked like if you guys have any any type of advice like how to make friends or like how to navigate friendships in your me late i'm in my late 20s no i'm the last year of my mid 20s like comment down down below yes um the other day I was like, let me try to, I was trying to make a new friend and let me, let me just say I'm shocked. I am shocked. I don't remember the last time I made a new friend. It's been a while. So getting back to it, it's just, hey, no comment. Just you.
comment your advice for people because i see even on tiktok people talking about things and like i'd say i'm quite a nice friend i would not say i'm perfect because obviously nobody is not is perfect but like i would say i'm quite like an ini like i have of course my own issues and everything and i will of course not say i'm too once in a while but like yo i'm just like i was shocked actually you know what i have nothing to say about that you guys comment down in the description box because i don't know bad advice i about that right now it's an area personally that i am struggling to make certain decisions so maybe people who are a bit older you can like tell us about like i know what i'm supposed to do but like did you come i'm ready yet to like make that decision even though i know i know like so and got stuck but what i would say and i know for a fact is um you need to have friends that pour back to you the same way you pour onto them like i'm not talking about material i'm like i'm not talking about financial and material things like that's nice. that's nice but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about people who match energy people who you know you can rely on like like people who are reliable people who are genuine people who can you can talk about anything and you're not afraid of like confrontation so let me end it but like you can just talk out people who you can be vulnerable with let me add that let me add that i mean people are like friendships are meant to be different maybe not all friends are supposed to be the same way but like yeah don't put yourself in a situation in in mina jambia pia where you're not getting the same energy back like just don't do it don't do it in whatever type of dynamic family friendship relationship work all of them you know what i'm gonna move into the next question because that one no comment and did these people lie to me because they said when you drink um your wine your alcohol warm it's gonna kick in faster why am i not feeling it although in person my base makeup looks so nice oh my gosh guys do you see how much i'm glowing trust you me i know i can see there's some sort of imbalance with the undertone but by the end of this it's all not gonna all look together but like i'm glowing and in person it looks so freaking good oh my gosh this looks so good that's is it nas foundation yeah this is nas foundation nas no this is not nas it's smashbox i don't know why i always think this foundation is nas it's smashbox always on foundation it has paired so perfectly with this um edge rewind instant edge rewind concealer by maybelline like you can see that and you have seen i've not added anything else i had done my skincare during the day um at around noon and then the only thing i sprayed is this dewy setting spray nothing else and look at how much i'm glowing and i'm telling you in person it looks even much better wow let's do the next shot as we answer the next question the next step is powdering oh, maybe i should have done contouring first yeah let's take a shot for contouring as we read another question um how do you maintain consistency as a content creator at times i get creation blocks and lack ideas i do too honey you're not alone in that me too and i think any creative can relate to getting creative blocks i'm like being exhausted i'm like just your brain being fried up cheers it's normal it's common sometimes you might even feel like you have done the same thing over and over again and you're like okay you will start being self-conscious about it it's a normal part of the process i would say when you feel that maybe take a break take a break from it um go to a different location which i'm also giving myself this this advice because i need to do it and i've been pushing it and i've been so overwhelmed and i know i've been needing to do it Go to a different environment leave the house travel go to sharks go to nature just take it take a break go and decompress go and unwind at that moment don't think about 
your creativity about your journey that time dedicated maybe to a hobby go just do and go and do something else that is creative that is not what you're getting a mental block on let's say if you're an artist and you're having a mental block you don't know what to draw take a break and maybe go and do i don't know pottery something swimming something else that will unwind because most of the time go to nature something because most of the time when you're doing that you tend to get ideas and you get rejuvenated ideas for you to apply you know to your craft i hope that makes sense but like take a break um unwind sit down think about come up with maybe ideas when you're taking a break but like that is one thing that in you know, Sema. do something else that will help you calm your mind your nervous system your brain brain and mind is the same thing guys i think i've started getting tipsy and through that trust you me once your brain you may relax and you don't have so much pressure to think about the content that you need to film you're gonna start getting ideas i hope i've made sense let me go on to the next step i've already taken a shot for that i'm looking for my cream cream contour which is right freaking here yeah hope that made sense i've closed the windows but it has started raining imagine it's raining anyway it's okay it's adding to the vibe i'm doing my bronzer all the products that i'm using are available on my cosmetics shop so you can just dm me i'm gonna email me if you want either of the products this one is by black radiance also everything that i'm talking about please if you have advice or like any pointers to add feel free to leave them in the comment section down below yeah come through for the galleys next question is how do you deal with self-doubt and anxiety um sometimes i just let myself like feel it and other times i'm not gonna lie it does get the best of me it doesn't it, it like it does like get me on my balls and be like and i believe it but then i'll maybe be down for like one two three days maybe sometimes even a week but then what i like to do i don't know if like you believe it this or you don't i don't know but something that really helps me calm my anxiety and like remind myself like everything is gonna be okay is that the universe is always 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 supporting you and it's always at all time ensuring that things are working out for your own greater good even if like it may not look at, like that at the moment even if like you're going through the worst going through the worst shit again it doesn't mean it's okay like and it's not gonna be hurtful or like painful to go through those things but at the end of the day just know if you believe in yourself and if you trust in yourself to get through it it's all happening for your greater good so if i'm feeling self-doubt i'm gonna feel it i'm gonna allow myself sometimes it gets the best of me sometimes i'm able to conquer it and i also do affirmation some people might think affirmations don't work but i really think they work i'll just go on youtube and watch a video like maybe like girl syndrome i look at my life and see how far i have come and like it will just affirm me it will just affirm me even if i'm not believing it at that moment like it will help my anxiety go down and like i'll just look at my life and see how far i have come and i'll just be like i didn't know like i would be here at this moment at this point i mean i knew through like this is what i wanted this is what i desired but like it was all just a vision it was all just like thoughts and dreams but like right now they are reality so even everything else that i'm worried about that i'm not feeling good about i know they are also gonna happen and if they don't it's okay maybe they were not meant to happen and something else that part of self-doubt i would say whatever you are doubting yourself in do it even when you're doubting yourself even when you're not feeling good enough even when you're not feeling like what you're doing has passed whatever type of 
level you have grade it has been given like oh for something to be good it must have passed to this point you do it do it bad do it good do it confused just do it the more you do it the more that self doubt self limiting like thoughts the more they're gonna disappear so don't ever wait for the day that you will not feel any type of self-doubt you will not feel any type of like maybe guilt fear for you to do something just do it and deal with those emotions as they come if you're not feeling feeling good enough deal with it then but at least you have done that thing i'm also telling myself this thing right now if you're feeling fear do it you never know you never know trust you me so just do anything whatever it is that you want to do in life do it scared do it with doubt do it with fear like because sometimes you have to do those things for that thing to disappear if you want to be confident you can't just sit and wait up wait that one day you'll be confident it doesn't work like that you have to keep practicing that confidence muscle one day you're gonna be and that when you're practicing it you're gonna be scared you're gonna doubt yourself but at least you'll be doing it. so sometimes no matter when i say well, the best thing you can do is just do something even if it's gonna turn out horrible just do it just i hope i can keep repeating that is a tagline for which company just do it is it nike do it trust me if you want to wear that cloth if you want to do that job if you want to do that thing do it do it scared do it even when you feel like you've not gotten to the level you think people who do those things have gotten to do it i can't see the lipstick that i wanted to use for blush so i guess we're gonna use this purple one i'm gonna take a shot did they take a shot for the the what the powder i don't know if i took a shot you guys will let me know in the comment cheers mm. i should have gotten like hard liquor because i'm not getting drunk i'll probably get drunk when i'm done in this video yo that's not what i wanted oh this is so pretty can you guys see let me can you guys see use your lipsticks as blush you don't have to have don't wait until you have, like buy a cream blush for you to be like i don't have a cream blush use your lipstick use your lipstick and you see i don't know if you can see but like it's like a deep purple but on my skin tone because of color theory it's coming out as pinkish i like it so much i don't know i think because of the lighting it's kind of like getting washed out a bit i don't know if you can see wow i'm just doing my makeup and then i'm gonna chill in the house wine drunk probably listen to some music i'm not gonna call no holes <laughs> oh god i actually see jianica i was supposed to tell you guys a certain story but like let me just try that story okay let's take another shot for powder for the rest of the face and then we ask another question let me see talk okay how do you maintain consistency as a content creator at times i get oh that one i already read somebody was asking what happens i don't know between me and who. like guys i'm single i'm single the day that i'm gonna decide to tell you guys at home to join nani. <laughs> so at this moment like I'm, i ain't talking about that shit okay <laughs> ni penny penny dada give me time to actually process and like guys like heal from it like trust me ania two years from now i'm gonna give you guys a straight time talk about internalized homophobia also i would love to collab with you one day sure we can talk about that internalized homophobia if you guys don't know what internalized homophobia is like basically take the name homophobia and no internalized anything internalized means it's something you have internalized from the society from outside and like you have believed it or rather like let's say internalized misogyny take the word misogyny internalized so misogyny is you guys get it so internalized homophobia homophobia is the hate or like fear of like 
queer people gay people so when you have internalized homophobia which i feel like every gay person has dealt with internal homophobia at some point of their journey and self-acceptance trust me somebody might have like been gay or rather like showing their gay for like years but they're still dealing with internalized homophobia so internalized homophobia is when you feel like shame i'm a guilt i'm a like self-hate because you're gay have i taken a shot i think i have i'm doing the wrong i'm using the wrong powder um so that means when you're internally homophobic it means you have not accepted yourself as gay as a homosexual because you're probably dealing with feelings of shame guilt self-denial such stuff and most of the time internalized homophobia is obviously um a huge part of compulsive heteronormativity i think actually most of it come from hetero compulsive heterosexuality and obviously religion societal beliefs can you guys see the type of change that this more light is bringing Do you guys without the lights with the light because it's so gloomy outside so if you want to deal with internalized homophobia this is something i also dealt with you have to deconstruct a lot of things if you're internalized internal homophobia if it's coming from a religious perspective and like you feel like you're not being able to accept yourself because you believe you're committing a sin god hates gay people which god doesn't if you believe all those things that's where your internal homophobia if it's fear if it's shame of the society and all those stuff people like trust me it's a whole like i should dedicate a whole episode on this gay and self acceptance topic deconstruct religion which whether you are gay or not you should deconstruct religion deconstruct um your beliefs of values that have been placed in you by the society and again another thing you have to unlearn and like fully fully get rid of wanting if you're a woman um need for male validation it's normally a very huge part like deconstruct the patriarchy you have to go to an ini a journey whereby you're like fuck it i don't care whether somebody judges me i don't care whether i'm accepted like i literally don't care what your opinion is i'm gonna live in my truth and i have accepted it and i know that i'm not doing anything wrong because you're not you're not trust me so i hope i have given you some pointers some tips it's a journey that every gay person goes through and sadly not a lot of people get through it a lot succumb to religion let the society get into their heads and like they choose not to live in their truth that's why there are men who are married with wives who are gay there are women who are married with husbands and with boyfriends and all that situation in their game so you have you don't judge yourself but like it's a journey and i hope everybody figures it out okay because trust me you're perfectly okay when you like like God created you know what he's doing. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. Next shot. I've talked about that for six minutes. Let's drink. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. But like, I'm enjoying it. I think Zimezo Shika. Cheers. Is this fully now? Like, no. But let me just take it. Don't say me. I don't wanna be a fan. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go to eyebrows. I don't know which one to use. Okay, that's like it has color. Let me first use this gel. This gel is so strong. It's from Urban Decay. Yeah, this is like PR, so it's not available in my shop. But like I have another gel in case you would like. Let me read another question. How do you take negative? comments and girl i love everything you do thanks thanks girl thanks miss i don't know whether to say your name asante how do you deal how okay how do you take negative comments um i 
would like to say they don't actually really bo bother me but it depends it depends what the comment is about um but either way whether i'm gonna like think about it or not at the end of the day if it's a hate comment i know it has nothing to do with me trust you me anybody who leaves hate comment it has nothing to do with you it has all to do with them and trust you me no matter how somebody might con how much somebody might convince themselves that they're doing the right thing or like they're saying the right thing or the correct thing like there's so many ways to tell somebody something without being rude without like being hateful so i always know like hate comment it has nothing to do with me or like define who i am and even the ones that maybe will stick in my mind i always remind myself that like they're not true because i'm the one who knows the truth they're just hating i'm the one who knows the truth if somebody wants to give me a constructive criticism of course like that i understand but like if it is at any point like i always take constructive criticism by the way but if it is said in any type of derogatory or like offensive i'm a hateful way i'm not gonna take it i don't care i'm not gonna take it because i know some people even in real life even especially if you even have friends partners or family members who like to say like harmful mean like hurtful things in the name of i'm just saying the truth some people they're not saying the truth they're just looking for a way to get under your skin and they know it and they're banking on the fact that you don't know that so that you can feel bad about yourself so mimi i just block because hate comments most of the time they, they actually all the time they have nothing to do with who you are and they're not true so me who block too block 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 <sighs> next part maybe let's take a shot no i'm still on the eyebrows i need to wait for that to dry why didn't i do it in the beginning let's give it some time guys i'll be back let me just have another shot as i'm doing my powder contour i'll go back to the brows because i have to wait for them to dry what made me express up like bro is it my swally these questions i'm just gonna say everybody deserves peace Personally, I did it for my own peace. Cheers. Mm. Guys, it's getting darker and darker by a second. And I had to pause for about 20 minutes to clear up my phone. I did my eyebrows because it's running out of space. So I don't even think we're going to be able to answer more questions. Probably like three, four. I'm really manifesting a camera or like another phone like... Oh my god because a camera and an ipad or another phone because the way this phone is terrorizing me when it comes to space it's crazy anyway i'm just gonna add some of the lipstick that we used as blush on my eyes and also bring it to the temples i should have taken another shot okay we will take let's assume the one that i took last was for this step because i've not done any powder contour i don't want to do too much on my eyes because again i don't have space on my phone and we won't be able to finish this video i don't have space at all like if i delete any more footage i'm gonna have to delete a certain vlog that i have not edited and i don't really want to do that so that's all we'll do for the eyes i'll add some powder contour later let's have another question and now do um powder bronzer the next question is uh, do you plan on having uh, do you have plans for having kids i honestly don't like because uh, at the moment i'm literally child free like i don't want to have kids as of this particular stage that i am in my life i'm like no kids Cheers. I'll reevaluate that decision when I get to probably 30. I have more years, four more years to go. And honestly, my my percentages are like 80% no kids. 
20% I'll consider when I get 30 and decide again because honestly the amount of responsibilities that I normally have and the amount of parentification I've gone through and like just the way my life has been set up honestly being a firstborn daughter like who is responsible for her family I don't want to have kids I feel like I already have kids I don't want to but I will rethink when I get 30 but as of this moment my answer is no kids and I'm gonna be more than happy with that because honestly I pay my sister's school fees I pay my mom's rent I do her shopping I do my sister's shopping I pay my rent I do my shopping I do I do everything please I beg I don't want to emotionally don't want to like the moment I'm done taking care of my like my sister has finished school and like I've set up fully my mom like I just want to even right now I'm already starting to practice on like giving back myself and like focusing on me first I don't I don't know if I have the capacity I don't know if I have the energy because honestly guys like <laughs> I get drained so much like that's why I don't want any type of friendship that is not adding to me that is not fueling me back because I'm such I'm not like tying my own horn I'm about that whatever that thing is I'm not trying to pipe my own horn like but I'm a good damn like when I love people, like, I love, regardless whether you're my friend, you're my family, you're my partner, like, I'm just, like, I'm such a giver. And, like, it's about time. I also, like, we need people and demand energy, the same energy that I normally give, like, period. So, when it comes to kids right now, for me, it's a no. If I ever decide, maybe even when I'm 35, whatever, you know, of course, God will have blessed us, like, crazy. You just go for IVF or, like, look for a donor. Yeah. And, like, you're started. As a lesbian, there's many options to have kids if you want to. So, yeah, but my answer is literally, at this moment, no, and that's okay, as a woman, even if you're not a firstborn, whatever, if your decision is no, please don't make anybody pressure you to feel like you have to do anything that you don't want to do just so that you can be told you're a woman enough, you're already a woman enough, whether you have done anything or not. Like, having kids is not the definition of a marriage or whatever, it's not the definition of being a woman. So, what's so, what? Yeah, let me do what? My highlighter, my mascara, I'm not even gonna do, actually, I won't do false lashes, because I'm not gonna go anywhere, I feel like the dress to go red. Yeah, and the lighting, and I don't have storage on my phone to go through all that. Next time, I'll, I'm just really manifesting an iPhone and like a camera. Okay, I would really love a camera in an iPhone where I can just shoot so much and like the quality of a camera and just like edit. Oh my god, when I get those things, be ready for me to yap your ears off. Like, I'm gonna yap the hell out of your ears. Okay, guys, so if you're a woman and you don't want any of those things, please don't listen to people who tell you that that's what makes you a woman. Like, there are so many things that make you who you are, like, regardless of your gender, honestly. So many things. And you are a woman just because you are a woman. You're like that, you're a woman. Full stop. And there's so many things that give somebody value that are not anything based on those societal, you know, pressures and like rules. I've not taken a shot for mascara. At this point, I'm trying to save on the space that is available on the phone. So I'm trying to rush. Let's check out another question. That's not my phone. <laughs> so far less. Oh my god. I think this is going to be our last question and I want to take my time to answer it. Hopefully I'll have space for that. Um, how to earn money as a young girl, financial advice, and she included in brackets in a legit way. I'm sure we all know what she means by that. Not that we're judging anyone. First of all, let me just blend everything. I added mascara on my lower lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell. So, number one, if you're a young girl that wants to make money and don't want to do it in other ways that we're not judging, but you guys get what I'm talking about, you want it to come from you, your money, your own pocket you have earned yourself. Number one, the only thing that I'm going to tell you is, oh my gosh, I think my mascara right there and now I look like I have a wing liner. On one side of my eye, I need to balance that. Where's my wing? Oh, my pencil. Number one, I'm going to have to tell you, if you're young, that means probably you're not done with school and you have not... So, obviously, like, probably you can't get access to, like, good jobs and stuff. Number one, it might be start your own business. It might be a bit hard because probably you don't have capital and you're still reliant on your parents. Okay, cool. Let's remove that. The other way, and I feel like the only other way, of course, there are many others, but I would say from my own experience, as somebody who has... Try to get money the non-legit way what you meant and somebody who now is fully self-independent and has been like that for about four years i'm gonna tell you what you can do is look into your passions i know i know trust me let me explain oops just poured like the remaining alcohol on my boobies let's take a last shot as i'm explaining this to you when i say look into your passions like things that drive you look at things that you used to like when you were a kid I have mentioned some of these things in the first question. So basically, your hobbies, your passions, that's what's going to give you money. For me, what I got into was makeup. I've always loved makeup. Clear beauty fashion. That's something that I have done since like high school. Since even before that, I was very much into those things. So look into that. I became a makeup artist. I would hustle. I would do all that. And then I would save. So first meaning is, if you have parents who can support you and you can start a business, because I know maybe probably not everybody who knows like what their passion is or like their hobby, like what they want to do, and you have parents who can support you financially to start a business, you can research Google and start that. If you don't have that, like me, you have to figure shit out yourself, the only way you can do that is looking into things that you're passionate about. 
that. Good thing about that, it will require close to no capital for you to start because it's a skill that you own, it's in your blood, it's in your veins. And trust me, that's what you're meant to enjoy when you come into this art. When you come to art, like, of course, you have to work hard, but it's not supposed to be literal. Because again, remember, you're having a human, I don't know why I'm using the wrong adjective, like you're having a human experience. Let me just try my best. I know I've not taken a shot for this. Anything and everything you require, always remember, I tell you guys, it's within you. Yeah, you might need something to boost you for you to unleash it. But everything you need and require, it's always within you and in you. Around you or in you. And most of the time, it's in us. Look into what your soul feels so much it gravitates towards. Perfect it. Learn it. Even when you have not yet become the most perfect person in that thing, start monetizing it. As long as it's something you're passionate about, trust me, it might take some time. It might take a while. But if you're young, you don't need that much money. Ignore the social media life. Trust you me. When you're young, and you want to be authentic to yourself. Actually, I should have started with that. Authenticity is the best way for you to get money. Sure, sometimes authenticity will not get you as much money as like people who are inauthentic can get. Because, because you know, when you're not authentic, sometimes it can be a bit much easier to make more money because you can, you're able to do things that are even outside of you that bring more money. But I'm going to tell you one thing about being authentic to who you are, what your soul is, which, trust me, if you take a moment to sit down with yourself, you will always know. Okay, maybe some people who have some certain, I don't want to talk about, might not know because they're shallow human beings, but like, trust you me, even those, I feel like everybody knows when they have a calling. That's the best way. If you have a parent who can support you to start a business, go for it. Amazing. If you can get a small, small business and then use that to find yourself, maybe if you're a makeup artist, like look for, okay, me, you can use legit ways, but like, that's a story another day. For get, buy makeup, start with the cheap makeup, go to the boys, buy your foundation, yeah, 100 bob, 150 bob, learn how to do makeup, start building your client and be consistent with it. Thing is, you have to be consistent with it. Consistency is number one. I can't talk to my youngers enough. Trust you me, if you don't want to, to do something that will make you feel like you have sabotaged yourself, like you've not, you've been need, again, these things, it doesn't mean that they're bad or like they're actually that thing you're feeling but if doing a certain thing makes you feel like you're sabotaging yourself you don't have to do it okay and i'm telling you as somebody again who has done everything <laughs> everything that we be seen questionable and like self-sabotaging i'm telling you like sometimes it's part of the process but always and even if you find yourself doing those things don't judge yourself so hard like it's life it's for the living just take it as experience as lessons and keep it keep it moving always go back to who you are authentically as a person your soul is always waiting for you. Like your higher self is always there for you to hold your hand and uplift you when you need. You just need to reach out and they're there waiting to hold your hand. So that's what I would say. Um, if you're able to start a business, start. If you're not able to, try your best. Even if you're going to be a social media manager, a stylist, a tailor, anything you're passionate about, a chef. See, there's no comment should like. You can just Google recipes, make some really yummy food and sell it. Nail tech. You can start at home, do it door to door. Like, I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're passionate about, go for it and remain authentic and genuine in it. Okay, that's my journey. Although, you won't be a, some men, maybe you find a chenga but at the end of the day, I don't think it's chenga because <laughs> I'll give you guys a story time about that, but I hope I have answered your question. And this is not just for young people. This is for everyone, even if you're older. Yeah, you might maybe... You might not have as much room to wiggle as somebody who is younger, but I believe and I have faith that anybody can change their life at any age and do what they're passionate about, honestly, and do something that fulfills them. Just that the earlier you start, the better, but even if you didn't start early, it's still okay. So I'm going to go for a very monochromatic look and go in with this pink gloss. And missing all that, my mom is calling me just a minute. Anyway, as we finalize... Um, I just want you to know, just because I've said all those things, it doesn't mean the journey is going to be easy. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you're going to wake up one day and, like, you're on the top. But, like, trust you, it will always work out. Like I said, the universe is always working out for you. And I believe when you decide to be your authentic self and follow what your heart truly gravitates towards, what, like, per se, maybe your mission might be, or like purpose the universe will like you will be rewarded in ways that you didn't even think you would be and i'm talking as somebody who has experienced that look at that okay so yeah that's what i would say if somebody else has any type of advice you can obviously comment down below in the comment section i feel like we oh my gosh my light it's it like the charge emisha so let me charge it just a minute i don't know if you can see but i hope you can and all that said 
it means that that journey you might have to take it by yourself you might have to take it alone i think we have missed a couple of steps have i already said that so let's have some actually oh gosh i've taken almost half and the bottle this is gonna be my last one let's just combine these as lips and setting spray cheers okay so go out there it might take some years you might do it alone you might have to do it by yourself but stay course it's gonna be hard it's gonna be challenges sometimes you'll fail sometimes you'll get back up it is what it is it's life but trust you me at the end you will not regret again we're not judging anyone we're not saying anything bad about anybody else who chooses to have and to take a different road because at the end of the day we are human beings we are different everybody has their own way sour okay i'm gonna take a final shot for closing off and on that point i wanted to say all other questions i'm gonna do another video like this one we're gonna answer the rest of the question because i've not even done half of the questions um i wanted to say please keep in mind that with all these it might not be as quick so you have to be patient and be okay with things taking the time that they need to take don't compare yourself with social media because you get so much pressure or even if you compare yourself with you know with the current way like wave of social media it's very hard for you not to compare yourself i tell me sometimes i do compare myself but i have to quickly snap of it and remind myself about my reality and my own life and how everybody has their own path please remember that so yeah that's what i would say about that if you want something that is more fulfilling that is more la long lasting you have to make sure that everything is coming from you whether it's love whether it's money whether it's validation not that getting them from other people is not good it's good it's amazing it's great who would not want to have that but the initial the most of it should be coming from within so that even if you lack from other people those things even if they don't come from other people you're okay you're contented you're happy you're fulfilled with your own life okay it should not be the other way around like you get those things from people and then you just add a little bit from your own no most of it majority of it should come from within and like i've told you guys we have everything that we need or want in us in our blood in our veins literally you just have to alchemize it you just have to bring it into reality you just have to work on a lot of things sometimes it's trauma sometimes it's limiting beliefs sometimes it's our insecurities because we all have them nobody lacks those things and it's a long life process you'll never go get to a point whereby you can just say oh i've gotten to the end of i don't know healing or like self-discovery or like evolution like self-evolution like you can never get to that maybe probably when you're in your old age because at that time you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot of experience but at this moment especially if you're young please i know we talk we saw all these things on social media but trust you believe me most and almost everything almost everything should be coming internally first from yourself and then other people can feel into that please remember whether it's emotional safety love which i think is kind of part of emotional safety um finances um physical, all those things spiritual knowledge and all that stuff you're supposed to be your number one because trust me you have a higher self and this is actually one of the lessons that i have learned in my 20s i'll do a video on that everything that i've learned in my 20s let me first take this drink cheers you are your own like you have your own i would say intuition or like rather higher self god self god the creator also the universe they're always guiding you please 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 never allow yourself to be a sheep of somebody else or other people's beliefs even me what i've said if you don't feel it in your soul let it be but always make sure that your soul is open to learn and to grow but always never be a sheep of somebody else's life you can get inspired by somebody else's life you can get motivated you can get empowered by somebody else's life but never be a sheep or other in other words a stun of anybody's life you have a higher self and if you just teach yourself to tune into that or like believe in yourself like you will always access her and whether regardless of your gender and doesn't mean you always be perfect all the time because it's not possible oh, nobody can be perfect all the time life itself is not perfect all the time like that's part of it learning how to navigate ups and downs and sometimes it means like the downs are gonna crush you and sometimes the ups are gonna be up yeah so i'll say um, the best you can do is continuously learn how to get tools to help you navigate your life and always make sure like your life like you're continuously learning and growing it doesn't mean every single day because that also is not possible but life comes with seasons and you should be able to see change in your life even if it's not physical change even if it's not financial change like sometimes change occurs in different ways you can have emotional changes emotional growth spiritual growth mental growth financial growth physical growth it's not always financial because i know a lot of people emphasize on finances and it's totally understandable um considering like the capitalism but i'm telling you guys be 
kind to yourself, be compassionate, and this is also advice to myself because not all times you're gonna be with your higher self. I'm like, be high. Sometimes you're gonna be crashing and it's your low self and like you don't know what to do. But I would tell you, I don't know where this conversation had started, but I want you to know as long as you're always authentic to who you are and you have taken life and taken the lessons you're playing victim. Because again, I told you in the other video, I told you on how to manifest the life that you want. Nobody's coming to save you <laughs> and you're not a victim of your own life. Like you are a victim of circumstances. But trust you me, this is not to invalidate anybody, but it's a way of empowering. It doesn't mean you're not a victim in whatever form of abuse you went through. That's not what I'm talking about. But I'm trying to tell you, like, you have the power. You have, literally, you have, it's in your blood. Meditate. Sit on it. Think about it. Visualize. You have the power. And this is to me too, because lately, my emotions have been, my mental health has been in the gutters. But I know this is not something, even when I'm going through those things, it's not something that, Nakongani Mesa how. Maybe just in that moment, I'm in a different seasons. But I'm always aware. I'm always aware of how I have an abundance of anything that I want. Of love. Of peace. Of um, financial well-being all the time and especially when it comes to peace and love you always always have them within you and even money you have it within you it's just you to fully bring it into reality i know i'm sounding like a bit crazy but trust you me guys trust you me i have been doing these things for years and that time i didn't know what it's called i didn't know it's manifestation i didn't know it has a word. i didn't know it's actually a thing i was just living i'm somebody who really 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 i don't know if it's because i'm a firstborn or like how i grew up but i have learned so much to do things by myself and to really trust in myself and like to really bring things into reality things that i want and even when you cringe do it probably i'm cringe right now as i'm talking i know i'm tipsy i might not see that i'm being cringe but maybe somebody else might see this video as cringe but trust you me you're gonna be okay actually if you think about it it's not even real even the people you think they're perceiving you and they're seeing you it's not real because they're in their own reality you are in your own reality a lot of things are not real anyway to end on that conclusion i would say everybody regardless of your age whether you're young, older, middle age, you can literally, you just have to want to change and actually put in the work. It's not going to be easy. Sometimes you will have points where you take many steps back, make two steps forward, maybe then take six steps back, and then next time you take five steps forward, take four back, and then it keeps going. But trust you me, you're going to be okay. You're never alone in this life, and that's something I have come to discover, and it gives me so much peace, because I think I've shared before that I used to feel so alone, but there's so many things that I have learned and I have come to realize. It doesn't mean that there are not moments when, where I really feel alone and I feel like nobody understands me. Of course, there are those moments. Because at the end of the day, I'm human. I can't pretend like I'm just a soul. Like, yes, I'm a soul. But like, right now, I'm a human being. I'm having a human experience. So I'll have those challenges. But I've come to know that I'm never alone. God is by my side. The universe is by my side. I have, like, it's a lot. But this is just to encourage you guys, especially women. Like, I'm so passionate about women empowerment. You guys have no freaking idea. And like, that's something I'm going to do till the day that I die so much of it even if it ever comes to a day when i'll stop content creation i'll go in so much and so hard into women empowerment and like all the stuff anyway i wish you guys the best thank you for watching this video <laughs> i know it's long but i hope it encourages you to know that you can get yourself out of any situation and this is not to invalidate i understand that the situations that are very difficult and like they're very difficult to get yourself out of and like trust me nelewa so she try to call a toxic positivity because that's also a thing I always create space for people to have their own experience and not invalidate by the way. I can't believe in who I am there for so long that I'm... Ah, let me just tell you guys my trauma. At least not right now. I'm going through CPTSD. Anyway, which I already had. But like say you may intensify. Let's take a bit. Not, nothing I, can, I cannot handle. What is that statement? Is that statement grammatically correct? I don't know. Not anything that I cannot handle. But it's fucking hard and like it's okay. PTSD. I do believe that I have CPTSD complex me, but I have not been diagnosed and obviously ADHD, this we already know, is only self-diagnosis, but I know, I know myself because I can see, I, I can see the symptoms, I can see the patterns in the leg, I know, but it's things that I can handle, so shout out to you guys for always watching my channel, please subscribe if you've not, and thank you for watching this video, I love you all so much, like so freaking much, like I'm obsessed with my channel, I'm obsessed with everything I do, even though I've been slacking, you guys might not say, but me, in my life, not you but I, I know why, and I know it's gonna be okay, so cheers, have an amazing week, an amazing July, oh no, August, an amazing July, I hope you had an amazing, what am I saying, wait, hold on, I hope you had an amazing July, and I'm hoping you have an amazing August, if you didn't have an amazing July, it's gonna be okay, it's a new month, coming up, everything, I wish you guys all the best, and I send you positive energy, I love you guys so much, like beyond words, you guys, so cheers, I hope I didn't rumble too much, if I did, well, it was meant to happen, as long as I didn't hurt anyone, cheers, well, okay, but guys, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. I'll do more sit down videos a lot more. Bye.